wanted to uh, to read, and instead of getting a book, I just got the Bible, like a book of devotion and all that stuff. And I ran into uh, John seventeen fifteen, actually seventeen fourteen through eighteen, and then also um, seventeen twenty two and twenty three. I'll just read 24 also. So what I'm going to do is uh, I got impressed upon it because it, it really spoke to my heart concerning everything that we've been going through. Okay, I'm going to do a brief word of prayer for us. Heavenly Father, thank you for who you are. And uh, I pray for Matthew uh, and myself and uh, anyone else that I share this uh, devotion with. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Okay. Now it says, it's when uh, Christ's betrayal, um, but it also talks about, it, it speaks to our heart also. Um, seventeen fourteen, I have given them thy word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of this world, even as I am of this world. So if the world hates you, now you know, because the world loves their own, right? Fifteen. Uh, verse 15 says, I pray not that thou should take them out of the world, but thou shalt keep them from evil. So as we're in here, he's not going to take us out. There's no rapture. He's going to keep us from evil as he says, this is the way walking in it. So we are to walk in his light like a path. Okay. And it's something we know, but it's good to be aware all the time to give an account. And it says, Be, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. The truth is what sanctifies. The Holy Spirit brings truth to you. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is that truth. As thou hast sent me unto the world, even have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself. So he sanctifies himself for our sake. I sanctify. Sanctify means set aside. It also means purify. Um, as I ha they have sent me into the world, I, so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Might meaning that it's our choice to receive the truth or not if we want to receive it because the truth is there for us to receive okay and now i'm going to go down to uh, verse 22 it says and the glory which thou has given me i give to them the glory is the character that sanctify is shredding it's set setting aside and then burning you know purifying and then we get glorified if we choose to continue the walk through sanctification, it says on 22, it says, And the glory which thou givest me, I have given them. So he's given us the glory for us to receive. That they may be one. That we all may be one, even as we are one. And of course, he's speaking to the Godhead. This is Jesus himself. These letters are in red. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. And it says, In... I inside of them, I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one. So in perfect unison, because we'll be hearing his voice. He's the head and we're the body. So we're in unison. If my mind tells my hand, I'm commanding, and it's not even hand, grab this. It's just a command. It's, it's uh, you know, the, what do you call it? The central control system is in our brain, right? So if God is our head, speaking of a body, a human body as a comparison, I command my hand to grab something. Well, he commands us. He, not as a dictator, but as us being willing to receive the message from the control panel, you know? So it says, it says here, and having that been said, thinking of a full body, it says how they may be perfect because we are in him and him in us, that they may be perfect in one, one body. And that thou, and that the world may know, the world will be able to see, maybe not the way we want them to see. Because, I mean, 
God would want them to see, but they will see. They'll probably see and persecute. That's what they'll probably do. And if we're not in Christ, we will persecute. So I'm not saying them and us like if it's a team. It's uh, That's just the way it is. It's a mindset. It says, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and has loved them. See? Has loved them. Not, oh, you sent God and he's coming to... No, he loves you. Doesn't love our sin, my sin, you know, but he loves us so much that he wants to deliver us from it. Um, and that has loved them as thou has loved me. That's how much the Father loves us, as much as he loves Jesus himself. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me wherever I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. And if God loved Jesus before the foundation of the world, and he became man, how much does he love us, our creator, our originator, our true love? Okay, let us have a word of prayer to close out this quick study. Uh, devotion. Heavenly Father, thank you so much. I hope it's recording. Yeah. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the understanding. Um, it was a brief study, but it was very deep uh, what you've done for us. And, and I pray that we take heed to your lead. In Jesus' holy name, and I pray for the rest of the day. In Jesus' holy name, we pray. Amen. Okay, God bless you. Bye.